A Minnesota dairy herd is quarantined after several cows became ill with the bird flu. More than 40 cows in Benton County were running a fever. Samples from the herd were sent to the University of Minnesota lab, which confirmed this week the first case of avian flu in cows in Minnesota. The herd will be quarantined for 30 days, but state leaders want to make something very clear. Minnesotans, dairy is safe to consume. Stay fair time. All you can drink milk booth. I will see you there. Lieutenant Governor Peggy Flanagan talked about the virus while visiting a farm in Iota this week. Experts say that all the milk from infected cows gets dumped, but even if some of it accidentally made it into the store, pasteurization makes it safe to drink. The biggest concern is the virus spreading to poultry farms because it's a deadly virus for birds. To get more answers on the issue, I sat down this morning with an agriculture specialist from the University of Minnesota to learn more. We're joined here this morning by Abby Schaft. She is an associate extension professor at the University of Minnesota. Thank you for joining us this morning, Abby. I'm glad to be here. So we officially have bird flu in a herd of cows here in Minnesota. So what can you tell me about this situation? What are the implications of that? Well, and actually, since that first herd was announced in Benton County, we've had two additional herds um, that have been confirmed with the virus. And um, the implications are going to be numerous, unfortunately. Um, this likely won't be the only cases that we're going to be seeing in dairy herds um, and then flipping to their agricultural counterparts in the poultry industry. Um, we've been seeing a slight uptick in um, highly pathogenic avian influenza cases in our commercial poultry since early May as well. So as this virus continues to circulate and it has um, its own rules just as viruses do, um, we in the industry need to be vigilant with our biosecurity and um, ensuring the health and wellness of our animals and making sure that we can report and test these animals so that as researchers and as academics and as um, industry members, we can begin to understand um, how this virus is moving around and what, um, what changes are actually happening. Happening. And you, you did speak on a lot of those implications, but specifically for farmers, for the agricultural community, how does it impact them? There's, I would say there's going to be two major impacts. The first is going to be economic, whether they're from the dairy industry, they're going to have milk losses and milk prices are really challenging for our dairy producers right now anyways. And then to have that drop in production can be really impactful on their bottom line um, and what they are able to then bring back into their business. And then for poultry producers, obviously, because those birds do die, then they have no production to bring forward, um, to bring to consumers, and they have no product for consumers. Um, so there's those economic losses. Um, secondly, um, especially with our poultry industries, we've been dealing with this now for over two years. And so there's some emotional toll, the stress that it's putting on our farms and producers. And similarly, for our dairy producers, this is a brand new emerging disease for cattle. They don't commonly have influenza A. So this is brand new for them too. So it's a different type of stress that's being put on these producers that hasn't been seen in the past. When it comes to milk, uh, beef, poultry, is that still safe to consume at this point? Absolutely. Our food system is very safe um, for consuming any of these animal products. Milk is safe to consume because it's gone through the pasteurization process. Meat is still safe as well. These animals that have been sick are not even entering our food system. However, it's always best to ensure that you are cooking the meat products properly and eggs um, to the to the respective proper internal temperature. And last question for you, Abby, when it comes to the public, is there any risk to the public? The CDC is still reporting that this is actually a very low risk and continues to be a low risk for humans. Influenza A is a zoonotic disease, so there is that very low opportunity that a person can become infected. There have been reports in the U.S. with people with um, avian influenza, and they've had very mild symptoms such as conjunctivitis or very um, minimal respiratory symptoms. But those people have been have it had been in direct contact with sick animals. So for the general population, the risk is still very, very low. And even for our farm workers, the risk is still low, but we still want to encourage the use 
personal protective equipment, and to report il any illnesses with your healthcare provider. Absolutely. Thank you so much for joining us this morning, sharing your expertise. We really appreciate it. You're welcome.